Hey guys, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Another quick video on my new results from 24 Genetics. And 24 Genetics is a company that analyzes your results, your raw DNA. And so I uploaded my 23andMe raw DNA to this company and they went ahead and analyzed it for me. And in this video, I will show you the results of that process. So for those of you who have been following me for quite some time, you do know that I have taken several DNA tests as well as uploaded my raw DNA to several different platforms. So once again, 24 Genetics is yet another way that DNA can be analyzed and you can look at the results from a different perspective. So the results that you receive from this company are in the form of a PDF attachment that is sent by email. And so here is an introduction of the overall test and basically it's just talking about how this report indicates my anthropological roots and they compare my genetic map with a vast database of DNA markers from countless locations around the world. So to read more on that, make sure to pause the video and we're moving on. So the first set of results you get are the global vision. And as you see, Africa is 93.40%. Russia is 3.00%. Europe is 2.20%. And America is 1.40%. So the next set of results are a breakdown of countries. So it says Benin 44.00, so 44.00. You have Malawi at 16.60. Gambia at 8.60, Lesotho at 8.00, South Africa at 6.80, Zambia at 5.20, then Russia at 3.00, Nigeria at 1.80, Kenya at 1.40, Central Africa at 0.80, Belize at 0.80, Finland at 0.80, France at 0.80, Grenada at 0.60, Great Britain at 0.60, and Zimbabwe at 0.20. Next, we have countries in Europe broken down as Finland at 0.80%, France at 0.80%, and Great Britain at 0.60%. So now they break down the regional data results and I apologize in advance if I am not pronouncing these names correctly, but you can look them up yourselves to get the correct pronunciation and some more information about these places as well. So they break down, of course, Benin 44.00%, Malawi Chewa at 15.40%, then Gambia Mandinka at 8.60%, Lesotho at 8.00%, Zambia 5.20%, Uthungulu at 4.60%, Nigeria Yoruba at 1.80%, Amajuba at 1.60%, Veps National Volost at 1.40%, Malawi Ngoni at 1.20%. Then you have Kenya Central Province at 1.00%, Central Africa Pygmy at 0.80%, Belize Garfuna, Garifuna at 0.80%, Finland Ingria at 0.80%, Aquitaine at 0.80%, Mordovia at 0.80%, Uthikela at 0.60%, Grenada Afro at 0.60%, Scotland at 0.60%, and Kenya Kilifi at 0.40%. So the following slides basically are going to break down the regional data as it's shown here by the different areas that we already looked at, but I'm just going to go ahead and include them in the slides so you can pause them and read them as you would like to. So they break down regions in Europe, Finland and Gria, Aquitaine and Scotland, regions in Africa, Benin, Malawi, 
Gambia, Lesotho, Zambia, Uthangulu, Nigeria, Amjuba, Malawi, Kenya, Central Africa, Pygmy, Uthikela, Kenya, and Zimbabwe. For the Caribbean, they list Grenada. For Central America, Belize. And for regions in Russia, they have Veps, National Volust, Mordovia, Karelia, Kirov, and Murmansk. So based on these results, I have learned some pretty interesting things. And if you guys have seen my previous video about all of my DNA test results, of course, I'll link it below. You'll see that the test results do vary, but it seems like this one is going a little farther back and it is providing a little bit more detail. So once again, the global vision of this test breaks me down as African. Interesting enough, it says that I have 3% Russian, which I'm actually going to cover in an upcoming video because I think there's something unique to note about that. Um, but it also shows Europe and then the Americas for this test. So once again, I wanted to just show you all that there are different variations and different results that can be received. And the more that we test and the more different companies we use to analyze our results, the different information that we get. So I'm not disappointed in any way. It does give me more regions to look into, more research to do, and more connections to make. So if you all are interested in starting your DNA journey, check the description box below and I'll have a link for you to purchase a kit of your own, a general kit, and you can therefore upload it to different companies once you receive your raw results. So once again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Bye.